while we're on the topic then, what do people, what do adults, friends and, you know, colleagues, what do they say about um, how you're getting on? What do you, how do you find their reaction? Oh, um, the quite, <laughs> everybody says it, you look so well. You look so well, you know, and you just think, well, where am I supposed to look, really? For, you know, you, I'm supposed to be, you know, at death's door almost. I think people are quite surprised when I'm still doing things what I do and, you know, and things like that. But, yeah, yeah they've been really, really positive and really, really um, encouraging. And, yeah. and, and you know, and they've been my friend, she lives in Hinkley. She's got two young children and she comes to see me about once every two weeks or so and mm. stuff like that because I can't drive and things you know just for a chat and things and you know it's just really nice and stuff I've worked with her at the Royal and stuff like that so, so your friends have generally kept up with you yeah yeah we have yeah yeah sometimes they um don't know what to say no drift away but, no yeah. I know it, it was hard. it was di it was difficult I'd say to tell people that one, it was a brain tumour, and yes, it was cancerous, I think. I think it weren't the fact that it was a brain tumour, the fact that it was cancerous. Mm. I think if it, if it was benign, I think it had been to totally different reaction to people. Oh, you'll be all right then. You know, but because it's this cancer word, yes. it's, it's a different kettle of fish altogether. Mm. So, but my friends have been great. Yeah, and the whole, my whole family has actually, you know, you just, it's like, you're a positive person, you know. You're gonna you're gonna get through this and that and everybody's like doing the same and stuff like that so yes that's great yeah